Wait, it's almost night. It was a lovely morning. It took a life, Will. Hugs when Dakota and her baby and her sisters were getting re ready for the day. Look at you. Oh. You have a baby. Dakota and her little sister Lily were already up watching TV with their doll. Ah. Uh, with their key, with their sweet little sheep in there. That's also a baby. No, it's a, it's just a sheep. But you can also use her sister, Luna, uh, was still sleeping. She decided <laughs> she'd turn on the lights and try to get Luna to wake up. Why? By the time she had turned on all the lights, Luna was still sweeping, sleeping. So she, she went upstairs and went up the, the stairs and tried to get Luna to wake up. She said, Luna, wake up. It's Monday. We have to take Lisa to school. I mean Lily. Lily to school. Oh, yes. yes that's right. So Luna got off downstairs. Dakota went to go sit back on the couch, couch and Luna got hot dress. She put her pajamas up and they all sat on the couch. And they all stayed home and sat. Dakota went to do some um, work. Eric, Eric and Lee, Luna and Lisa sat on the couch while watching the burger dance. And it's video. Oh, they had bought for Lee, for Lily. Meanwhile, after they had done that, at mo most of the workers started to wake up. Up. Oh. Back at the post office in in the early bright morning, and the lights had turned off. Fun, and the cells were going back to their normal way. They were going. They were being reset to their normal position. And back where it belonged. The, police, the, post the postman. And got back in the seat, ready for another day of delivering mail. Meanwhile, the people at, that worked at the tailor were getting oh, ready for work. The tailor and the cashier and the cashier are showed up to work. With one clap of the tailor's hands, the lights turned on on all three. Out. The cashier got in her place, nice, and so did the tailor. Or they were ready for customers. What? <laughs> Meanwhile, the people that worked at the grocery store were getting ready for another her day of selling in food, the baked goods, pet, pets, pet items, home decor electronics, and toys. The lights turned off on all throughout, all throughout the store. This kiss, kiss. Or the people showed up. The people showed up and started Hearted and went to their places. The cashier came, arrived first, and got in her place ready to sell. How their things. The cashier for the toy shop got ready as well, oh, along with the cashier. Here for pet store. They were ready to sell more items that people may need. 
And then the people that worked at the hair salon were right. Got uh, right to work. The lights turned, turned on. The hair stylers were set. At, and the cashier. Here was just about up to arrive. But then the hairstyler guy show, had shown up first. He waited hours for, for the cashier to finally show up when he did. And, and then he, the styler guy got in his position. They were ready for the day. Everyone had gotten ready for the day, except for blue, blue pole workers, marketplace workers, and theater workers. But unexpectedly, instead of another person from the village beginning work, it was Flupo that had begun work, which who usually is the one that starts last. Flupo and his worker had shown up to work. Eric Flupo stand in the corner like usual. His worker showed up, sat in his chair, waiting for for the opportunity to start work. Then the people at, at the theater got ready for the day. All the candle lights turned on along with the stage along with stage lights. I thought had turned on shortly after. Or soon enough, the workers showed up, started to show up. First, first the Viking girl who was playing the harp, the, and the view. Then the violin slash cello player, player took harp place too. Who the Viking girl also played the trump, also to hook the trump, hump it. Waiting for the others to show up, up they practiced the music until the guitar uh, slash drum guy showed up. Then uh, later on, the, a cashier showed up and they were ready, ready to start, perform more pl wonderful plays and for the school and for a be wonderful school day. Finally, the, the marketplace people had shown up to work, Eric, turning on their lights. turning on their lights one by one. Hun, to get ready for the for another wonderful day. As they turned on their lights, they started showing up, ready for another fantastic, hick fantastic day. Right, first it was the sushi lady, then the candy one. Lady, we they were all ready for another wonderful day. The pizza guy had shown up. Up along. Along with the burger dude and the burger, her mascot from, from the burger show. From Burger Dance. Then more people had started to show Oh, up, ready for work. Eric, it was going to be another one. Wonderful day. Hey, in the marketplace. We're selling some delicious foods and bed fridges. There was one that did not stay. That stayed up all night because she couldn't fall asleep because there was so much to do. It would be for rock. But before her little brother, Rocky's first day. She gave him a can candy, so they stayed up late. Hey, she also had to get things ready. She checked to see if her sign was still there. Had reappeared, but hadn't. Lisa was disappointed, but she was happy for her little brother, Rocky, because today would be his first day of school. Well, Rocky, 
She knew that Rocky was excited to see he his friend and Lisa at school. He knew that Lisa was just, I mean, he knew Le Hilly was just a bit older than him, so she got to go out of school first. But now he was at the age that at Lily was when she first started school. Well, and he was now able to go to school and see his friend, Le Ellie. He was so excited. He was super excited to me. See his friend and be able to play, play with her and have fun and learn together at school. Just before then, and he had eaten his, he ate his candy and stuff. And sat on the floor to play with his unicorn, space unicorn. One action figure. Right. Lily sat at the table. Hey, but looking over photos on her camera uh, and checking on Rocky every few minutes. Everyone was as ready for school, except for one on family. The family had that he originally moved, moved out of the apartment so to make their room for early. Dakota and her family had, had not with gotten ready for school. They woke, their mother woke them up, up and they got dressed. They turn, turned on the light. Their little breath, other and sister were already up on the couch, had ready for school. Well, their mother was smiling at, at the two girls. Oh, their girl. Oh, so I just woken up. She said, Add to them, girls, you could just go sit in the kitchen and have something to eat. So they went to the kitchen and, and started searching for something to eat. They didn't know what to eat, so they just decided to talk and listen to the radio. Now everyone was ready for school. Well, and work. First, Dakota and her fa Dakota and her sister Lynn. Luna help, helped get Lily ready for her another lovely day school. Luna said, Come on, Lily, it's time for, a, for another wonderful day school. We have to get ready here, else you're going to miss the bus. Did she actually go in there? In the games? Yeah. 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 yeah, Lily, we have to get ready for school, or else you're going to have to give your teacher a good reason why you were late. Okay, said Lily. And they got. Then Lily jumped. Then Luna picked up Lily and. And Luna and Dakota left to take Lily to school. But leaving their sheep and no behind with plenty of food and water. Potter. Meanwhile, Colonel on. Far from here, here in the chef, in the town's di in the distance, it's a little alien dude. Father was getting hit. I'd go. I'd left home. I'd left to take his son to school. Just before that alien father had left, he went to pick up a bunch of other kids from the neighborhood. And not then, and backward. Her Lonnie and Rock, Rocky lived. Rock, Lonnie, Lonnie to old Rock. He had to put away his action figures. It was because it was time for school. Rocky put his action figure next to the skateboard. And then, then Lonnie picked him up, up and left to go take, take him to school. Last but not least, the family that had moved out of your par apartment were about. We're getting ready. The mother said to the two older girls, "Girls, you can just stay here and do." Who, whatever, just don't get in trouble. I have to take your brother 
and sister to, to school. The girl said okay, and the mother left. Have to go take her, their little brother and sister to school. Over at the theater, heard the band. Hand was still playing their music, getting ready for a music lesson and of school. Well, the cashier was ready to serve lunch to any. Was ready to serve lunch to the kids when all. The, when parents started to show. What? Dakota had waited outside. Dakota waited outside, hide for Luna get, to get done dropping off Lily. Everyone had come home to school. Cool. The fish dude, the younger kids that the fish dude had picked up, up that were friends with his child. Hi, old. Had, had got walked in for hers because they wanted to beat him. Him. All the students were at school. The cashier told both students to get their assigned seats as usual. Well, the two girls sat at the very top, and then so the boy sat at in the second row, and then one of the younger boys, and then and the last boy sat in the back. The parents said goodbye. I to their their children and younger younger brothers and sister. Hers and left. Rocky and Lily had run, had worked. I was a little al alien boy. They realized it was their friend that had moved far away from where they used to live. Okay, so they went and sat at the three seated table so that they could all have them. While the two, while the little brother, mother and sister, was a little. Was a pair of a brother and a sister, or that were friends, that were, or the younger brother and sister of the, a fan of the two older girls who were in the family of, who used to live in the apartment, sat at the two seater. The teacher stopped playing the music, had to go, oh say hello to the student. Good morning, student. students. We're so happy to have you all here, here today. We actually have a new student joining us today. Hey, Rocky, could you please come up here? Rocky went up to the stage. He had to introduce him, himself to the kids had not, would not know him. Of course, this wasn't that important. And for Lily and the little alien boy, because they knew Rocky really well. They have been friends for a long time. So, hence, they were just one, two, two years old. Old and are still friends today. Okay. Rocky would only be sure telling you, telling certain things that he were as comfortable with sharing with other ch kids that didn't know. Oh, him. Him as well. That was Lily and the little alien boy did. And, but a little did the other kids know that Lily and the al little alien boy well, I knew who they, things that the other kids I don't get you. Did. So. Did it? No. Oh, and Rocky would never tell them. And once Rocky was done, he went back to the sea. He and his friend, Hans, gave him a high five. High for being so brave. For, introducing, for being able to introduce him up to the other kids. The teachers immediately said that they would be starting with the bear. Harry Perfect says, listen, on why horses are important. The young, young little yellow cat girl, mm. girl had raised her hand, and the and the Viking girl called her name. Yes, lo. Yes. Yes. And then the little cat girl asked, well, "How are we gonna learn? And why forests are so important when the forest scene is an enchanted forest?" When the Viking girl says, "It doesn't matter what forest it is, is whether enchanted or not." All forests are important. 
and both in stories and in real life. If we, no matter, even if this is an enchanted forest setting, we still need to. It will still help us learn how wild forests are important, because they eat, are even, they're even important in story stories to help help wildlife. I go thrive uh, like little, like this little beetle. Oh. The young girl, girl said okay, and they, and they said, and she said they could continue the le- talking about the lesson. And the three teachers had went on about how why forests are so important and, and why we need, need them. Most, most forests were protected by nestled. National Park Associations and a pin of two. You already took a shower. I didn't take a shower. You took one today. The school was going to be a wonderful day, but uh, this, this was just the beginning.